Hi everybody, today we're going to look at uh, what's going to be called notes number eight. And I'm very excited to tell you we're moving into something a little bit different. We're actually, normally we'd consider this a separate unit and it's called properties of matter. So today we're introducing the main concept of what a property of matter is. So we're going to start with the definition. And essentially it's a description that helps to identify a substance. Right, so there's all these different kinds of matter in the world, and so one of the jobs of a scientist is to figure out what is a particular material and how do we identify it. So the, we, we start with the idea that we need something called a pure substance. So each pure substance, that's something where all the particles are the same, um, is going to have its own set of unique properties. Okay, so a unique set of properties, what do we mean by the word property, right? That's sort of begs that question, what is a property? Um, so it's something that um, we'll talk more about, but basically these things are basically descriptions of something about it. We sort of um, played around with it at the beginning of class. Um, these properties uh, don't change uh, based on how much of it you have. So we could change the amount of what we have but the um, property wouldn't change. So no matter if you have a ton of it or if you have just a few little micrograms of it, the properties don't change if the amount of the substance changes. So it's always the same, no matter how much of it you have. That's one of the things that makes it a property. Now, an example is if, for example, if I gave you a set of properties, if it is a clear liquid and it's odorless, right, and it freezes, at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, then it must be water. So that's an example of how we can use properties to identify a substance. Now, some of these, some properties are obvious meaning we can see them really easily. So for example, we can see the color of something. That would be an example of something that's pretty obvious. Um, odor, if it smells, right? That's something that's got a property that's pretty obvious if it smells. Um, how it feels to the touch would be a property. 
So if it's rough or smooth. And then one that's a little more scientific, that's the idea of a state of matter at room temperature. So in other words, is it a solid, is it a liquid, is it a gas? We should be able to tell that, obviously. That's a pretty obvious thing. We look at it at room temperature and we can usually tell by looking or feeling if it's a solid, liquid, or a gas. Now there are some more complex ones, right? So examples of more complex properties. Um, would include the thing we looked at earlier, right? So we're gonna make a little table here, name of the property. And the big idea, sort of the big chemical idea or the big idea around how, what's going on at a particle level, right? Um, Cause usually it has something to do with the particle that makes up this thing. Um, is this idea of melting point. So we saw earlier today that we can heat something up and if we can get it to its melting point, it will melt. But if we can't heat it up to that temperature, that particular temperature, it stays in the state of a solid. So a melting point is the temperature at which um, the substance goes from a solid to a liquid. And that's basically our big idea of property. So hopefully that gets us started. And as you see there, we want to try our best to add a little color around the edges here. Colors help us remember things. So whenever we can add a little bit of color, we're going to um, have a little more um, stickiness in our brains. All right, thanks for watching.